Hello, this is Dan Alford with Arc Specialties. Today we're talking about full penetration welding, and we're going to do this with back gouging. Traditionally, back gouging has been accomplished with carbon arc, but this process is problematic. It creates a lot of sparks. We have a high carbon dross that must be removed, and generally welders just don't care for it. The alternative is machining, but this takes huge machine tools, and frequently it's just not a viable option. But there's a third opportunity here, and that is plasma gouging, and that's what we're going to demonstrate for you today. We're actually using a robot and a plasma torch to back gouge these grooves down to sound metal so we can produce a weld on the back side that creates a full penetration joint without having to do single-sided welding. I'm a big fan of plasma gouging, but I seldom see it used, much less automated. And that's the point of today's video. This is a great process when you combine it with a robot. We're using a high voltage plasma system and air as our carrier gas. What we're going to do is back gouge two different grooves. One is a single bevel and one is a double bevel because both of these joints are found in industry. Everyone's familiar with plasma cutting, but plasma gouging is a little bit different. You're using different consumables and different operating parameters. What we're doing is we're running extremely high voltages, so that means our stick out is around an inch and a half. You look closely at the beginning of this cut. We're actually starting out lower to improve our arc initiation and then drawing the arc back out to an inch and a half. We're running about 150 amps and we're using air for the cut gas. We've used H35, which is 35% hydrogen. It actually cuts better and produces less smoke, but it's more expensive. So we're going to do it the inexpensive way today in our demonstration. If you look closely and listen, you'll observe a couple of differences between plasma arc gouging and plasma gouging. First, with carbon arc, you have sparks flying all the way across the room, which is rather dangerous. With plasma, that's not the case. They're more localized. And second, it's much quieter with plasma. You're not interrupting the arc on a regular basis. And so the overall, you have much lower noise levels. Both of these are advantageous. The only downside of plasma, particularly when you're running air as your cut gas, is it is smokier. Now we can reduce that with H35, but again, the cost goes up. In our first demonstration, our robot was back gouging a single bevel, which is good on thinner plates. But once you get into heavier plates, it's typical to use a double bevel. This reduces total weld volume, also helps to control distortion. So that's the typical joint on the heavy parts, which means it's a little more difficult to back gouge because you're working inside of a groove. In this case, we're back gouging inside an 80 degree included angle groove prior to making the second weld on the back side. So let me back up for a second and describe carbon arc gouging in case there's some people in our audience that have never experienced the joys of the smoke, the sparks, and the noise of the process as I have. Carbon arc gouging is a great technique. It's cheap, it's easy. Uh, total cost is a torch which is less than $300 and some carbon electrodes. But the problem is these carbon electrodes continuously degrade. So if you're gouging by hand as I have in the past, then you automatically compensate for the burn off of the rod by moving the torch closer. That creates a problem for a robot though if you're using a carbon electrode. You either have to compensate for this just as a human would do or you have to continuously feed the rod. Neither one of these is a very good solution, although we've automated in the past. And that's the beauty of plasma gouging. In effect, your tool length never changes. You're always cutting one and a half inches away from the end of the torch, so it works rather well. And the other downside of carbon arc gouging is you end up with a high carbon dross, which is the slag that's falling out of the joint. Now, of course, you should be removing all of that with a grinder prior to welding. But any of that dross that does get remelted back into the weld is problematic because of the carbon content from the carbon electrode itself. So the point of today's video is to introduce you to plasma gouging, an underutilized process. It works great. We don't introduce carbon. It's safer. It's quieter. I don't really understand why people aren't using it more often. I think it's a lack of familiarity. But trust me, it works extremely well and even better when you add a robot. We've been using plasma gouging for also zero force machining. It's a great process because in effect you're removing metal at higher rates, typically over 50 pounds an hour, than you can do with a machine tool with zero tool force. That means you have less fixturing. So we've done some interesting parts in the past, cutting grooves, actually creating shapes in parts with plasma gouging using a robot. So if you think you might have an application for either simple back gouging or something more complex where you want to actually cut apart with zero tool force on any hardness of metal at the same rate, then you probably should give us a call. At Arc Specialties, we thrive on problems. Send us yours.